Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn the inject and debug nodes. The flow designer is divided into three distinct panes. The left pane includes the node palette and the flow layout tree. The right pane displays node-specific properties, allows for updating them, and also shows the flow's package dependencies. The bottom pane displays flow events, debug node outputs, and also allows for the creation of flow variables. The first method to add a node to your flow is by drag and dropping it from the node palette into the desired position on your canvas. You can also add a node by right-clicking on the canvas, which opens a menu where you can enter the name of the node you wish to add. The third method for adding a node involves interacting directly with the existing nodes. You can click on the output port of any node, drag the cursor to an empty area on the canvas, and then release the button to place the new node. Similar to right-clicking, a menu will appear that allows you to type in the name of the node. The node will be added to your canvas and will also be connected to the previous node. When you left click on a node, its properties will be displayed in the right pane. Default values are usually sufficient. Only one or two fields may need updates. For instance, here the open link node typically requires updating just one field to function properly. We must specify a URL for our open link node to direct to. We can now try to run this flow that will open a browser and navigate to google.com. Since I have Cloud Run Minutes available, the Cloud Run option is enabled and the local run option is also enabled because a robot is connected from my machine. I picked local run and will select the connected robot. The flow appears to have started, but nothing has happened. There is no node execution and it seems that something is missing. In fact, for the flow to actually begin, we need a trigger node that will activate the other flow nodes. There are several trigger nodes available for use. However, the inject node is the most commonly used to initiate the flows. To utilize it, right-click on the canvas, select the inject node, and connect the output of this inject node to the open browser node. It is standard practice to name the inject node start to ensure clarity. Once this configuration is in place, Executing the flow will activate the inject node, which in turn triggers the entire process. The flow has run and the browser has navigated to google.com. Robomotion is not limited to a single sequence of automation steps. You can set up as many sequences on the free canvas as you need that will run in parallel without interference. This capability represents one of Robomotion's most powerful features. For instance, you can add another inject node to this section of the canvas. And when you run the flow, this inject node will also trigger the nodes that are connected after it. Another node we frequently use while developing our flows is the debug node, which helps us to see the message being passed between the nodes. A message is a type of variable storage that is unique to the executing branch of the nodes. It is not globally accessible, but is passed between the nodes. So let's try adding a debug node and see how it works. It is like probing a wire to see what message is being transmitted between the nodes, allowing for a detailed examination of the data. Let's run our flow. I will close the browser to return back. When you click on the output pane here, you will see the output of the debug nodes, allowing you to examine the message data. 
This is the message object that is passed between the nodes. Each node receives a message object, modifies it, or utilizes the data contained within it. Some nodes might also add an item to the message object before transferring it to another node. The message object is structured as a simple JSON, making it straightforward for nodes to interact with and update the data. For instance, the Open Browser node does not have an input but outputs data that can be written into either the message object or a global variable. This is the browser ID, a handle for the opened Chrome process. When you click on the Open Link node, you will observe that it requires a browser ID as an input. This input is essential for connecting to the correct browser session. This is a required input for the Open Link node to open a new window and go to a URL. Let's examine the output with a debug node. Run the flow again, and you will observe two debug outputs, one from the previous debug node and another from the new debug node. This demonstrates how the Open Browser node has added a new property, specifically a browser ID field, to the message object. This browser ID will be used by the Open Link node. Although this data could have been passed using a global variable, using the message object is more convenient and also unique to this running branch of the flow. Lastly, when you initiate and run a flow, the robot will continue to operate indefinitely. This continuous operation will persist until a stop node is executed or the flow encounters an unhandled exception. This behavior is a fundamental aspect of RoboMotion flows, which are designed to function as a robust messaging system. These flows facilitate seamless communication and data transfer between various nodes, ensuring efficient automation. So here, the flow hasn't actually stopped and it will run forever. It's crucial to understand that if you create and schedule a flow without a stop mechanism, your robot will continuously run this flow, potentially limiting its availability for other scheduled flows. In this case, we will add a stop node to execute after the open link node has completed browser navigation. We can put a before delay here, Let's wait three seconds before stopping this flow to give time for us to observe the browser window. The browser is opened and after three seconds delay, the stop node will stop the flow. The robot has now successfully stopped the running flow and is in an idle state, available to run other flows. Thank you for watching.